We begin, though, with the string of gun violence across the country this weekend. Between Friday and Sunday, at least 10 cities reported mass shootings. Those are shootings with four or more victims. Several of those cities saw gunfire more than once. NBC News correspondent Kathy Park joins us now. And Kathy, I want to start by asking you about two of the shootings that really made a lot of headlines over the weekend. The first in Austin on Saturday turned fatal. What more can you tell us about that one? Hey, Joe, good morning to you. Yeah, it certainly was a violent weekend in Austin. In total, 14 people were shot. And we just learned over the weekend that a 25-year-old uh, died from his injuries. And according to police in Austin, the shooting happened early Saturday morning in a very uh, busy entertainment district in downtown Austin. Lots of bars and restaurants. In fact, since things are back open, uh, they were seeing pre-pandemic crowds. So lots of people were in the area at the time when shots rang out and uh, but fortunately officers were already in the area so they were able to react quickly and help uh, the wounded in fact some of them were actually able to pull uh, some of the victims into their own police cars and then transport them to the hospital uh, right now we know that one suspect is in custody a juvenile meanwhile another suspect is at large and as far as what may have sparked this violence uh, officials are saying that this was a a dispute between two parties. Joe? And Kathy, right before the Austin shooting, there was one in Savannah, Georgia, Friday night. Some of the victims were children. What are we learning about that incident? Yeah, another uh, very sad and tragic uh, event in Savannah, Georgia. This one happened on Friday night, and those victims range in age from 13 months to 33 years old. And this situation was a little bit different because it happened in a residential area. And we were told uh, from law enforcement there that uh, there was a car that drove by uh, some of these apartment complexes. And there were several people outside of one of the homes. And then someone in that vehicle began uh, firing at at this crowd and uh, they uncovered 60 shell casings just to show you how many shots rang out uh, into the crowd and um, we know that seven people were shot one person was killed and the police chief said that they are investigating this incident and possibly seeing any sort of connection with another shooting that happened just a couple days prior take a listen we were out there on Tuesday night. No one would talk to us. We went back out on Wednesday, uh, sent detectives out in plain clothes. Still, nobody would provide any information to us. Two days later, we end up with a mass shooting at the same location. And the chief noted that this was no coincidence, and he's asking witnesses to step forward with any sort of information. And right now, they still don't have any suspects. Kathy, Joe. nationwide, when it comes to gun violence, 2021 is off to a horrible start in the first half of the year. Can you put it all into context for us? Yeah, Joe, I mean, gun violence has been creeping up pretty much all across the country. And we, we've been taking a closer look at numbers provided by uh, the gun violence archive and approximately 270 mass shootings. That's how much they have recorded so far this year. And when you compare stats from this time uh, last year to, to now, uh, mass shootings are up 40 percent and then 65 percent higher than 2019. And also worth noting, um, so far this year, 8,700 people have died due to gun violence. So, so, Kathy, what are we seeing law enforcement do to try and curb the violence? It really depends on the community and, and who you ask. Um, for example, in, in Austin, Texas, obviously, uh, this latest uh, this latest uh, shooting, this mass shooting, uh, prompted the conversation once again about what to do next. In fact, uh, gun violence has gone up over the past several years. So a uh, violence prevention uh, office has been created as of last summer. So they plan on uh, beefing up support there. And then in Savannah, Georgia, they plan on taking more of a, a community-based support. And they plan on having a community forum to discuss what happened over the weekend, Joe. All right, Kathy Park. Thank you so much, Kathy. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.